What's good guys? So in this video, we're going to be going over how I like to organize things. Um, yeah, I am pretty sick, so <coughs> don't mind me. Now, two things first that I can think of are one, keep it simple. And then two, do what works for you. So how I like to organize it may not be how you would like to organize because our brains process things differently. Um, and then I say keep it simple because I know generally speaking, I feel like people can overcomplicate things um, and that leads to disorganization they become unorganized and then they stress out about organization and that can um, decrease productivity so that's a big one is keep it simple and then do what works for you so some people like to color code a ton of stuff I know people um, that really use color coding like to the extreme, but they are so freaking organized and it works for them. Um, other people do alphabetical. I don't ever do that, but that's another thing. Uh, alphabetical actually seems kind of nice though. I've never tried it to be honest. And I would actually want to try that. Um, cause it makes sense to me when thinking about it. But, um, how I organize is I really just take a lot of notes. I have, uh, notes for specific things um, and I'll break it down step by step so for example if I'm making a game um, let's say I'm making this game I'm on right now I'm just like watching this game right now oh I'm playing now okay cool so let's say I'm making this game and oh shoot I think I just I think I just died so the zombies definitely got me I wasn't supposed to be gotten by zombies. Okay. All right. So let's say I'm making this game um, and I was to organize it. How I would do it is I would use, I use something called stories. Okay. So as a player, I can, this is, this is the notes, by the way. So note, as a player, I can uh, attack zombies or whatever as a player i can repair the fort or something like that and then i would have another section as zombie as a zombie i can eat players or you know something like that i can deal damage to players i can deal damage to the fort so as a zombie i can deal damage to a player as a zombie i can deal damage to forts. So that is something that I like to use. That That is something I use in e almost everything that I'm, when it comes to, if I need to take notes and organize things, I will have, you'll have, you'll see me use that um, all the time because that, it makes sense to me. It may, it, I, I understand it immediately and I can go section by section. Okay. Player, like, uh, you know, notes for the player. Okay, notes for a zombie. Fortress, as a fortress, I have so-and-so amount of armor or so-and-so amount of health um, as a fortress. And then I'll have a section for fortress. So that is something that I use um, all the time. And that's how I really organize. And that's really the, my main go-to. And I don't really step outside of that too much. So I'll have that. And then I use tools like GitHub. Um, or Bitbucket, um, and then you have task management tools like Notion, Trello, Jira. Those are the three that I've personally used. Um, and then you have documentation like Confluence. Uh, so um, yeah, those are the tools I use for task management though. So task management tools are tools where you can really write out those kind of stories and you can post certain tasks and you can just break things down really well and that's what they're meant to be used for a lot of people don't like notion i like notion a lot i think notions are really really underrated because it's so freaking simple and that's all i need i don't need like if you go to jira and i love jira 
but Jira has a ton of UI, a ton of buttons, a ton of sections you can go to. And so for me, like, I don't really, I'm not sure what to do here. So that's just a lot sometimes. It's just a lot to to look at. So I think when it comes to that, the less is better. Um so I'll use I'll use I would use Notion probably over even over Trello, honestly. I mean I like Trello a lot. Trello is very, very simple to use. Um, but it's just notion is just so like, to me, it's just like, it's so blank. And I like that blankness. I want to have that blankness. Um, and that's just how I like to organize things. That's how I like to look at things. Uh, that's how I like to look at my notes and look at my tasks and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, but me personally, I don't actually use those day to day in my personal projects. So I really just use like writing notes on like a notepad like that's what I use in my personal projects. And it's fine because like I write Word documents basically. Sometimes I'll even use Google Docs like in my personal projects to just write out these these types of notes, right? So that's what I like to use. I, it's very simple. Um, I And I can just, you know, go off of that. You really don't need to overcomplicate it. And then tools um, like GitHub, I, I recommend everyone learn GitHub, okay, because when you take the time to learn GitHub, uh, it will help you one, become a better developer, and then two, become just overall better at, at organizing. So I do recommend learning GitHub. Um, and Git, you're gonna have to learn Git as well. So Git commands. Now it may seem like a lot at first, it's just because it's new. Uh, but just stick with it because to use it as a base level, which will, you know, in my opinion, dramatically increase productivity, even at like the most basic level, um, is it'll, it's actually very simple. It's not, it's not super complicated. It just is something new, right. That you've never used before. So just go over that, um, use it, learn it, get comfortable with it. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game right now. And yeah, that'll, that'll, that will help. I think that will help. What else can I say about organization? Um, when it comes to like managing scripts and, uh, frameworks, I mean, me, I just, I really, I feel like I don't do anything crazy. I do very simple stuff. Like I don't like to make complicated code if it doesn't need to be complicated. Uh, so for example, like I don't feel the need to use object oriented programming in every mechanic. Sometimes I do think it's okay to use one script to manage a bunch of stuff. It just really depends. Okay. It really, really depends. Now I say that what I just said can kind of be taken out of context and there's not much context there. But I do feel like it is case by case basis where sometimes uh, I'll want to use object oriented programming. Sometimes I'll want to split scripts up. Um, it kind of goes in with the solid some of the solid principles. Uh, and I can't think of the one off the top of my head, but it's it's where you're basically like if you have say uh, two mechanics, two separate mechanics, but they kind of go with each other. You kind of want to think about, okay, does it make, is it, is it going to be efficient if I combine them into one, uh, script or, or one thing, or should I separate them? And this will make it better for the long term of development. So really how I, how I organize my code base is, is it going to be good for the long term? Is this a smart idea for the long term? Or if I do combine so-and-so, is it going to make it 
harder down the line. And if I want to modify or update, I might end up having to split these up, which is just going to be, um, which is just going to take more time and you don't want that. So that is one thing I will say I do think about a lot when organizing my code base is, uh, am I, is this good for the long term? Is this going to be efficient long term? Am I going to be able to update and modify this however long down the road um, efficiently? And, and is it going to be a smooth process to do so? If the answer is no, then I will think about a way to make the answer yes. Um, so yeah, that is something that I do uh, think about a lot when um, programming uh, and going over and like managing and organizing my projects code base wise, right? Code wise. Um, but yeah, so I hope that video was helpful guys. I, <laughs> all right, but yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up. I feel like it was kind of just, uh, I didn't go over it that well, but I am sick and I'm like trying to play this game. I do like this game. It's very simple. It's very interesting. But how do they get in? How did the zombies get in? I don't think I noticed how they got in. They just kind of like spawn. It's not like uh, Black Ops, I don't think. Yeah, it's not like Black Ops. All right. Let's do a recap of what I said, because I kind of feel like it wasn't structured very well. So keep it simple. Find out what works best for you. Um, learn task management apps like Notion or Trello or Jira. Jira costs money. Trello, I believe, is free. Notion, I believe, is free. They have their free versions, I think. Um, there's also something called, I forget, I always forget the name. It's like Myra or Mira or Miro or something like that. Myro or Mira or Myra. Um, it just look, just Google Myra um, whiteboard app or something like that. And it, it'll come up uh, or free whiteboard app and it should come up on Google. Um, so that, is, that can also help with visualizing your game design and all the components that'll go into your game, all the components that go into your code base. Um, so that's another thing you could uh, look at. I do use that, just not all the time, like not in my personal projects. Um, and then let me think of, of what else we were talking about. Um, think about the long term. When you're organizing, think about the long term. Think about down the line when you have to go back over this is it going to be smooth it is, is is how you created your project from the start uh, even six months to a year from now is it going to be a smooth process for you to go over to look at that's also how i code as well okay um is it going to be smooth for you to look at? Is it going to be efficient to work work off of and build off of or update or modify whatever, right? So that is a big one. Um, and then, yeah, learn stories. Learn. I do recommend learning stories. I think everybody should learn stories. And then go over the solid principles, okay? The solid principles. When I first went over the solid principles, so I actually got to the solid principles from an interview, uh, actually. And somebody asked me what about the solid principles and if I could go over it. And I had no idea. I never heard of it before. And I had already been working as a programmer for probably at minimum a year at this point, like at, at, for a company. Um, and yeah, he asked me, uh, maybe even a year and a half at that point. I don't remember, but yeah, he asked me about the solid principles. Didn't know what they were, I never heard of them before, which is crazy. I'd already been working professionally, right, as a programmer. Um, and yeah, it turns out like the way I had already, I had already had instilled a lot of the solid principles into my workflow because of the company I was working at. 
right? So that was really cool um, to see that. But it, it also, it made me realize like, okay, there's, there are these things, there's actual like names for this stuff. And it's an actual process. Like these are actual things. These aren't just um, things that I've kind of been doing on my own or, or things that the, the company kind of instilled that I was working for instilled in me. Um, these are like real things and I need to like go over them a little bit. And now it just helped me out a ton when um, organizing projects and just managing projects and stuff like that. So yeah, I do recommend that solid principles as well. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'm probably, um, I don't know this game personally. I like, I like it a lot. Let me find out where these zombies are coming from. Cause hold on. Like I like this game a lot. I just don't know if it's my cup of tea. Okay. So they do just kind of like spawn and just charge at places. Can I just, okay. Oh shit. Let me just, let me just unalive one of these um, zombies real quick. Oh my God. They're like already attacking me and I can't even reload my musket. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, dude. Okay. All right. It's time. Oh my God. He's on me again. Let me, there we go. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here, dude. There we go. That's how you do that handled situation handled by me and my saber or sabre <laughs> um piece of cake dude easy peas all right